Hey guys, I just wanted to do a video on an older motor that I had. It's the pulse assisted wind turbine. Been testing it with 105 to 113 volt input. I'm currently using a crankshaft sensor off an automobile with a transistor. I am firing two out of the possible six coils, sets of coils. So I could be pulsing at six per revolution. I'm only gonna pulse at two per revolution. I just wanted to document the consumption rate today and how it ran with just two pulses per revolution. Uh, when you get the transistor to go to full with one single pulse, you can get over six revolutions. So I'll be showing the motor loaded and unloaded. When it's loaded, it'll be under a 36 volt battery bank. I'll show that when we load it up with the voltages before we load it. So we're gonna start it up, unloaded. The crankshaft positioning sensor doesn't Make the transistor go to full so it doesn't spring straight up to full speed. I think I need to add a little bit of power between the crankshaft positioning sensor and the transistor. Because when the transistor isn't going to full, it seems like I'm getting a lot more heat on the transistor for the input that we're giving it. Like running 20 watts through the transistor shouldn't make it as hot as what it's getting. So we'll let her come up to speed here. RPMs are definitely over 500. I'm not exactly sure, but it's definitely over 500. So I'll go ahead and show you the one of the three batteries that will be charged. The charge battery that's in series is 11.8. So we're gonna go ahead and kick the load on to the 36 volt bank. Now we're only pulsing two pulses per revolution. If I was pulsing all six, this would still run a lot faster. Here's that battery now. We'll kick the, the load back off. Voltage is dropping because the load is off. We'll kick the load back on. One more time. Let the motor come up to speed. Do the dump. So loaded consumption rate. Between the inverter and the power supply, we're under 21 watts. We're not factoring in the kilowatt meter. It's just to demonstrate how much power we're actually using. Well, I'll do another video of this when I modify the flywheel. I want to take the magnets out of the center of the flywheel because I think it's affecting some of my charge rate. 
and we'll fire six revolutions. Uh, if I put it on a meter for the output at the 36 volts, it's telling me I'm getting almost no amps out of this machine. That it's at 48 volt, I was seeing 0 0.01 or less on the output for amps, but the whole 48 volt bank showed charge. So some screwy readings, that's for sure. So we're under 20 watt total, consum total consumption. Well, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.